Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Creature Force Base in beautiful Indian Springs, Nevada, for another performance of the Virtual Vultures at VFAT 2017. The Vultures are primarily a training squadron focusing their efforts on sharing the art of formation flying with any and all who wish to fly structured air show style aerobatics. The Vultures are an open team who encourage virtual pilots from around the world to join us at their leisure. The Vultures are flying the Czechoslovakian L-39 Albatross. The L-39, a single-engine tandem two-seat jet trainer used for light attack roles and for training pilots of over 30 air forces from around the world. The team will perform maneuvers taught to all military pilots, but we'll do it just a little bit closer together and we'll do it a little bit closer to the ground. We hope that you'll enjoy this demonstration and we thank you for your support. From behind the crowd, in the VIC formation, the 2017 Virtual Vulture Jet Team. The team will execute a climb into the vertical as the solo pilot leaves the formation to the left and the slot pilot moves into position behind the boss. The diamond will then pull into a loop over the top while executing a half This is the Clover Left, your 2017 Virtual Vulture. From your left, the solo pilot accelerating to 400 knots of your rolling aircraft 90 degrees to the left while holding the line. He'll apply to the right rudder in order to maintain his altitude and showing the signature wing stripes and the team's name. This is the Knife Edge Pass. From 45 degrees to your left, the diamond has transitioned into the Concorde formation. The wing pilots have dropped back to fly off the slot pilot. They'll execute a left turn in front of show center for the Concorde belly pass. A little more The solo pilot will enter at 400 knots while pitching his jet into a 12 degree arc. He will then execute an 8 point hesitation roll. Shots ready as the vulture diamond will appear from your right and slightly behind the show line. Boss has slowed the formation to a smooth 300 knots. With less than 12 inches of clearance from wingtip to canopy, the diamond will fly by in a 45 degree bank for the diamond banana pass in review. The 
does solo pilot approach his show center at a 350 knots. He'll execute a sharp pull into a 40 degree ballistic arc. He will then cross control his aircraft with full right aileron, full forward stick, and full left rudder. His aircraft will depart controlled flight, and he will fall through that arc while decelerating to 150 knots within three seconds. He'll be riding the ragged edge of the envelope in this, the ballistic arc roll. The diamond is inbound at 380 knots. Boss will gently pull into a 15 degree climb, followed by a left barrel roll at 30 degrees per second. This is by far the most difficult maneuver for the L-39, as the right wing pilot must add power while pulling around lead, and the left wing pilot pulls her back as he pushes forward and rolls under. There is simply no room for error in this, the diamond roll. From your right, the solo pilot has slowed his aircraft to 175 knots with speed brakes out. Watch as he demonstrates the slow speed, high level attack performance of the L-39. As he falls into the vertical, he'll deploy full flaps at less than 900 feet above the runway. He'll fall over on his back into the downline, then he'll clean her up, continue up to show left. This is the mini loop. the beautiful high desert valley at 45 degrees to your right. The diamond has transitioned into the close trail formation. As the approach shows center, watch as boss climbs 40 degrees into the vertical and he'll call Go Diamond. The flight will then transition back into the diamond formation while performing a slow barrel roll. With style and grace, this maneuver personifies the art of formation climb. This is a trail to diamond flagaboy. Solo enters the show line at 350 knots. With a sharp 6G pull into the vertical right in front of show center, he will then again cross control his aircraft. Then releasing aileron and holding full rudder, he'll enter into a flat spin. He'll then allow the airplane to recover, displaying the excellent recovery tendencies of this tandem jet trainer. This is the vertical jam. From your left, the diamond will enter the show line at just under 400 knots. With a smooth 3G pull on the way up and a weightless float over the top at nearly 7,000 feet above the runway, the boss will call boards out. 
From there, the diamond rejoins the downline back into high G to perform the graceful diamond loop. and look behind you. From over the town of Indian Springs, the solo pilot is flying with smoke on at 175 knots and four out. He'll overfly the flight line in a flat pass and then out in front, he'll execute a slow climb into the vertical while deploying full flaps. As his aircraft approaches zero airspeed, he'll chop his throttle to idle. He'll fall over nose down through his own smoke trail once again, displaying the outstanding recovery tendencies of this L-39 jet train. This is the tail slide. Out across the playa at 45 degrees to your right, the diamond has once again transitioned into the close trail formation. They are now flying directly towards you, as Boss pulls three Gs into the vertical showing you the flat plate of the formation. The team will then again transition smoothly back into the diamond wall, performing a loop combined with a half barrel roll to the right. This is the trail to diamond clover right. The solo pilot enters at 400 knots for the slow roll. As his aircraft makes its way slowly through 360 degrees of bank, the pilot must constantly apply smooth pressure to rudder and elevators in order to maintain his altitude. This is one of the most deceptively difficult maneuvers to fly, so don't try this at home. Now, across the sun-bathed high desert playa valley, the diamond has repositioned for the high bombers. The limited thrust-to-weight ratio of the L-39 makes this maneuver technically impossible unless done with absolute precision. The boss will pull the flight into the vertical right in front of and directly above show center where he will instruct his three teammates to roll to the vertical onto the four points of the compass. Each of them will float without any means to control his trajectory. It will be flying well below the minimum controlled speed of the aircraft. The team will test gravity as they fall back down through the vertical, accelerating to over 420 knots. Then they will converge together at the intersection right out in front of you. This is the high bomber. Three, two, one, break. Unaligned, boss. 
Roger. 40. 20. 10. Horizon. 9,000. Loading. There's 20. 30. 40. 8,000. 50. 7,000. There's 66,000. 3, 2, 1, come. As if that wasn't difficult enough, the Vultures are going to attempt the impossible for a second time. As the team continues outbound, north, south, east, and west, boss will call, hit it! Each pilot will execute a sharp 6G climb into a one half Cuban aid. They will then again attempt to converge at Show Center for a second move. is flying vertical out over the desert where all five jets will rejoin together in right echelon. The L-39 lacks the power to do this by simply pointing at your target and pushing up the throttle. This airplane has no afterburner, so the team will use cutoff angle and the fingertip reference line to affect this difficult rejoin. They'll fly a two-mile arc around the playa out in front and then will pass from your left to your right for the echelon belly pass. Flies out for the longest of their reposition. The virtual vultures would like to thank the virtual aerobatics community for their encouragement and support as our team has trained for this event. We would also like to thank the VFAT staff for making this event possible. The virtual vultures are made up of pilots from the United States, Canada, Germany, Australia, Thailand, and South Africa. We fly with only two names painted on the canopy rails of our airplanes those of Ralph D. Morgan and J. H. Plum. Those are the names of two pilots from the real-world Vulture formation. Ralph and Jay, gone west on July 10, 2005, when they were tragically lost in a training accident while preparing for an upcoming air show. The virtual Vultures dedicate their efforts to the memories of our lost friends, and we hope by performing for you today, they may live forever in your hearts and in ours. Blue skies and tailwinds to our fallen friends. From your right, Boss has positioned the team into the right echelon. He will lead the flight in front of the crowd for the Vortex break. Each jet will roll 270 degrees to the left into a 3G right-hand turn into the extended trail. All five jets will once again use cutoff angle in the fingertip reference line to rejoin into the Stinger formation. This rejoin must occur within one mile of show center, displaying the tenets of fundamental formation flying.
horizontal bomb burst. Two, three, four, five. A little more. Uh... Watch now, as the Stinger has reversed course directly back towards show center. Boss will call three, two, roll, break. The team will then diverge into the horizontal bombers. Boss is pulsing as smoke as his wingmen spot him in the ground in front of the hall. Tally boss. They will then rejoin an extended trail formation. Then, from your left to right, out on the show line, boss will lead the team in front of the crowd for one final pass. All five jets will simultaneously break into a 60 degree turn and will then, once again, within one mile of show center, rejoin into the same formation as which they entered. The Vic. They will then fly flat over the crowd and go smoke off, signifying the completion of our demonstration. On top, 250.
Hawk, door left side. 